If you're looking for an all-in-one platform to manage your home service business, you've probably heard of Housecall Pro. It's a tool to help you manage your scheduling, your dispatching, your invoicing, and staying in touch with your customers. And when you bundle its software features with some of their services, it really can help you manage your business from end to end. But the real question is, is this the right platform for your business? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Housecall Pro. We'll dig into its features, its pros and cons, its pricing, and everything you need to know in order to determine if it's the right choice for you. Hey, I'm Dan Lehman from Chromatic.com and we help construction, trades, and home service businesses build systems that work for their business as opposed to the other way around where you're constantly trying to cram your business into off-the-shelf software. Okay, so let's first take a look through the platform and kind of walk through a lot of the core features. So initially when you're starting out, you want to create some forms and those forms can be on your website. You could have a link to them. They could come from ads directly to the forms. You've got a few different options here. Now there's two main forms that you wanna take a look at. One is just a standard lead form and essentially that's going to let you capture just the basic contact details of someone who lands on that form. So someone who's generally interested in services, they plug in their contact information, then you can go ahead and follow up with them either in an automated fashion, you could schedule some time to go on site if they need an assessment there. You've got a couple different options. So for a booking form, we have lots of different options. We can do different things like we could provide the different services if people know right off the bat what they need. So if they have an issue with the power in their house, the power went out, we could have that listed as a service or we could just keep it higher level of just like a general booking. So if people click into one of the service issues that they have, we could have them choose from flat rate pricing we make that available for them automatically, really easy to be able to do. So we could click on show more and find details with that. Now that's gonna work for certain kinds of businesses and not for others. So you don't have to include all of this really specific service information, but if you're looking to make that available to your customers, you certainly can. From here, if they select a service, which they don't need to, but they can add that information to the booking, add any notes here. They can upload any pictures they have and go ahead and book the service. Here's where they're gonna fill out all their contact information. One of the features that I really like here is that it's got address autocomplete from Google Maps. So easy to be able to plug that in and it's going to auto fill their address for them. Then they go ahead and click next. And then this is tapping into kind of Calendly type functionality. So you might want to let your customers automatically book that time with you, which is great because then you don't have to handle that scheduling back and forth. So that's an option that you have. If you plug in your calendar, you plug in your schedule so that your whole team is operating off of one place and you wanna make it so that they can book that themselves. Then we get a little confirmation here and they can book that appointment. Now as a lead or customer, we're going to receive automated notifications. So here I am, I receive an email and everything's gonna be based around this customer portal. So in this case, we can click a link to our portal and then now I can see everything about my jobs, my appointments, my invoices in this one customer portal. So here's my appointment that we just booked on our form. And then as it happens, as we get invoices, as we get estimates, all of that's going to automatically come into my portal so that I can see everything in one place. Now we showed the process of having a customer automatically book that job themselves. And so that's an automated process, but your process might look a little bit different and that's okay. So for example, you could have a customer who calls in and then you want to be able to create an estimate for it, or you want to schedule an onsite visit. So wherever you are throughout the application, you can always click on new and create a new job, a new estimate, a new event, a new customer. So you don't necessarily have to rely on the automated processes, though that's easy if you're given the opportunity. So for example, we could create a new estimate. We can search for a customer that we already have. If we want, we can plug into a template. So maybe we have a repair template and we select that. That can add all of our services and line items automatically to this estimate. Down the side here, you can see other things that House Call Pro provides. You can add notes. We've got different tags if you want to segment your customers different ways. We can add photos and attachments. One of the things that we'll talk about in the pricing section that I do find a little bit funny is that when you're doing an estimate, you can't include images in the line items without upgrading to their most expensive plan to be able to create kind of nicer looking proposals. So that's a little bit of a strange limitation in my opinion. When you have an estimate or a quote, you can then go ahead and schedule that. That takes you to this nice scheduling screen. And whenever you have these jobs or events that you have on site, you can easily drag them around. You can route them the way that you want. So if you wanna show this by certain employees, we can look at this on a map if we wanna see where nearby jobs are so that we can route that appropriately. And we've got different options to be able to manage our scheduling and dispatch process. 
Of course, as you'd expect, you can just make it easy to notify your customer to send them a text automatically. And House Call Pro has a unified inbox where they take all your communications and dump them in one spot. So by default, you're working with text messages. You can have automated notifications, but on upgraded plans, you can also have two-way communication, two-way SMS, and you're going to get information from various lead submission forms as well. When you're managing the job, I like how we have these different statuses across the top. So we can manage our appointment. We can just click a button to send a text message to say, hey, we're on our way. Once we're on our way, we're going to be able to track our travel time if that's something we want to do from an expense standpoint. And then when we start the job, this is now where we're going to actually start time tracking for the job itself. And then, of course, when we're done with the job, then we've got the ability to invoice and pay. And we can do this all from our phone, which we're going to show you in a moment. One of the newer features of House Call Pro is to be able to have different custom checklists. So as you want to actually manage the job and make sure that whoever's on site is actually checking off the things that they need to do, you can create your own sets of these. So if we drill in and edit one of these, let's say for an installation, you can break this down by different sections. So here we can say we've got prep and then we've got different elements within it. Now it is a little bit limited here. So in terms of the different field types that you can have, you can only have a checkbox and then basically a flag for this or text. So I find this a little bit limiting, but it's nice to see that they're moving in this direction where we can have more of a customized experience when we're managing the job on our phones. So of course, this wouldn't be a great home services application if we weren't able to manage this on mobile. So I just want to give you an overview here. Here we've got a dashboard and we can see what exactly we're working on, any time cards that we have for the week, any of the invoices that we've got out. And then we've got a little schedule view here so I can look at my week and here is one of our jobs so we can just drill into that directly. I like that this is a simple interface. Oftentimes apps like these are going to try to add every single option and make it really convoluted to be able to do it. But I mean, once you're on a job, then it's really going to be easy to say, hey, I need to start time tracking. Cool. Add a note if you need to. And then we press start and that's going to start logging that time automatically so we can manage this from a costing standpoint. If I pause my time, it's going to automatically give me options to say, hey, maybe I'm just taking a break. Maybe my job is done so we can go ahead and complete our work. And it's going to automatically prompt me to say, hey, if you finished your work, should we finish this job? So I'm just going to say not now so we can look at a couple other options. You can see we have other options here like we've got our checklist so we can drill into those like we were showing you before. And now we can click on any of those options if we want to check them off as we're actually proceeding with managing the job. We've got our customer information. We can have service plans. Here's our schedule, any of the line items. So this gives us kind of one all up view to be able to see everything that's going on with the job. If we want to manage costing for that, we can see the estimates that we gave them, any inputs, lead information. So a little bit of this is overkill, but again, they put it down at the bottom so that it really doesn't get in the way of the important stuff. So we've talked about some of the core features. Let's jump in and talk about pricing. Here you can see we have three core plans. We've got basic, essentials, and max. You get a discount if you pay annually, or you've got the monthly option here. Now, basic is going to be if you just have one user. So if you have more than one user, that's going to automatically bump you up to the next plan. But that's fine. It's not like a huge jump here. So if you have one user and that's 80 bucks, and presumably two users at like 160, and this is a little bit more, but you get additional features as well. So I like the way that their pricing works overall in terms of it doesn't have big surprises of when you add one more person to your team and now you have to upgrade. So let's scroll down and take a look at some of these features on each of the plans. Honestly, their basic plan has a lot going for it, right? We can take payments. We've got scheduling, dispatching, invoicing, all the stuff that goes along with that. We've got text notifications. I think it's on the upgraded plans if you actually want to have the two-way texting, but on the basic plan, we can do text notifications. We can manage those bookings. We've got price book management. And so overall, there's really a lot that we can do. We can manage the bulk of our work on that core plan. Now let's talk about the middle plan. Where are some of the key features that we see that you might want to upgrade for? Well, if your business is running on QuickBooks, that's going to be a big one. So tons of small businesses use QuickBooks. If you want that all integrated as opposed to just living inside of House Call Pro, then you're going to want to take a look at the middle essentials plan. Now, this part, I think, is a little bit goofy. You can see we've got visual price book, which means, hey, if you want to have photos of your services, you got to upgrade. And then even one above that is for the sales proposals. If you want to have all these detailed options and you want to have photos alongside all of that, well, then you have to go to the most expensive plan. And this is the one part that probably doesn't sit super well with me is that Quoting is so fundamental to what we do, quoting and estimating. And so do you really want to stage gate those features and put them on more expensive plans? I get it. 
They want to make money, but that just seems like kind of a weird one that sticks out a little bit. Now, here we've got our custom checklist. We talked about that before. If you want to have specific checklists that your team walks through on each job, we've got employee chat. We can manage a few things that we didn't actually show in the demo portion. So if you want to do equipment tracking, um, that's all included in this second plan. Now, this feature of review management, oftentimes on other platforms like Jobber, that's actually pushed into an upsold package. So it's kind of cool that between here and review generation that you get some of those features built into the lower plan. So that's nice. We've got some marketing features. You can do more expense management kind of stuff. And then a big piece here, actually two of them, one is employee time tracking. So if you've got employees, you're going to be on this more expensive plan. That makes sense because if you have more than one user anyways, you're going to be on the essentials plan. But then the other one here is around the Zapier integration. Now, if you want to actually have an automated business end to end, there's not a whole lot of automation capabilities directly within Housecall Pro. And so you're going to want to have something like Zapier. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about this later on when we talk about automations and integrations. I'm not a huge fan of their Zapier integration, but at least it gives you that access on the middle plan. And then here on the max plan, then we can see that we've got more advanced reporting. Now, I'll be honest, a lot of these platforms just don't have super awesome reporting no matter what plan that you're on, um, but they do segment this a little bit by plans. We also have an API. API, again, back in the automation space, that means that we actually get to talk between systems. So if you're using another platform, like you're using Company Cam, and you want to be able to integrate that, well, now you have an API that allows these systems to talk to one another. So that's only if you're on the most expensive plan. Extra support, that makes sense. And then you can pay for additional users as well. So that's it for the core pricing. But it's important to know that Housecall Pro is constantly trying to upsell you in different areas of the application. Some of it makes sense because they have these really nice add-on services, but then some are feature-based, which make a little bit less sense to me. So some of the important ones to call out, you can add on services for payroll, for accounting, and for even getting financing. And so these are premium services that you wouldn't necessarily expect from a software vendor. But again, if you are a small operation and you're an operator and you've got a couple employees or contractors, you don't want to have to necessarily manage all of these different vendors. So having some of these premium services makes a lot of sense. Then there's upgraded features such as voice. So if you want to have your telephone calls automatically log, just like you have your text messages with their inbox, then that's an upgraded service as well. Or you want to use their AI automated assisted phone service, that's going to be an upgrade too. And those kind of upsells I can generally get behind because they're adding quite a bit of additional functionality. One service that seems a little bit unique is around their website. So whereas with like a jobber, you're going to get just like a really vanilla website, or you could bring your own website. With House Call Pro, it's kind of an all or nothing experience. Either you have your own website, or you're going to pay for a custom service where they custom build you a website. And while that's a nice experience, it's kind of hard for me to know exactly how many people really need that. Do they go straight from, hey, I've got just like a Wix or a WordPress website to, oh yeah, I'm going to pay for custom services. So again, it's an option. It's an offering if you need it. But the upsell that seems the silliest to me, in addition to the sales proposal tool being on the most expensive plan, is having a pipeline tool that's not just a basic part of your CRM. So in the world of software, we call this a Kanban, the ability to have cards and we drag them from one status to another. And granted, there's some light automation in the background, but this seems pretty silly to have as an upsold feature that you can't just get on the plans. You have to pay more just to have this pipeline feature when you're calling this a CRM in the first place. Let's talk about automation and integration. This is an area really near and dear to my heart because that's the kind of services that we provide to small businesses is helping them actually automate everything that's happening in the background. So like we talked about before, there is a Zapier integration. Now, Zapier is a platform that allows you to connect to all of these other systems. The problem being that you can't really do a lot with the House Call Pro Zapier integration. So for example, what's going to trigger this automation? Well, let's take a look at our triggers. Oh yeah, we only have two. We can say when a job is complete and when a job is scheduled. There's nothing else that we can do in this Zapier in terms of our triggers. So this is hugely limiting. Likewise, if we take a look at our actions, what can we do for an action? We can create a customer. So you're telling me out of all the different things that you can do with inside of House Call Pro, all we can automate is the creation of a customer. Yeah, I don't know. It's one thing to say that you have a Zapier integration, but this is very, very underwhelming. 
Now their API, on the other hand, lets you do way more. So you can take a look at the documentation and you can see, hey, customers, employees, estimates, jobs, all of these different objects. Look, we can get and we can update and create. We can do all of that kind of automation. So the good news is, is if you are looking to automate what you're doing with House Call Pro, you do have a lot of options as long as you're using the API. But as we talked about before, the API is only included on their most expensive Max plan. That means if you want to do any real integration outside of House Call Pro, you're going to have to pay their most expensive plan. And on top of it, House Call Pro doesn't really include their own automation engine. Sure, there's options to send automated text notifications, but you don't really have any of that if-else type logic of, if this happens, I want to do this other thing. Instead, you just get some really basic options that are included. But the worst part, in my opinion, is that you don't even have custom fields in the application. So if you say, hey, it's important for my business to track this additional customer field or invoice field, guess what? You're out of luck. Their only solution is to say, yeah, add a note. But guess what? Adding a note isn't structured data. You can't report on it. You can't trigger an automation on it. It's just sitting there as extra data that's just going to get lost inside of your notes. So this is a huge feature missing from House Call Pro. So let's recap what are some of the strengths and who is House Call Pro really for? If you're a relatively small home service company and your processes just kind of align well with House Call Pro, you don't need any kind of automation. You don't need any kind of integration. You don't need to track any extra custom fields. House Call Pro is honestly really good at getting started. I think their mobile application is one of the best just in terms of how easy it is to use. I also think their pricing is pretty generous. You get a lot of functionality for pretty standard pricing. Now, there are going to be those upsells. And so if you're kind of deterred from some of that, then that might not be the right platform for you. But most of the features and most of the services that are those additional upsells typically makes sense. You're getting a lot of value for it. There's a couple such as the sales proposals and the pipeline features that feel a little bit out of place, but in general, the pricing seems pretty aligned with the needs of small organizations. And for organizations that feel like, eh, we're kind of outgrowing what the platform can do because we need more integration. We need more automation. We need to connect our systems together. Then that's an opportunity where you might want to start taking a look at solutions that are specifically designed around your business. If that sounds like you, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at crewmatic.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.